Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you all, ladies and gentlemen. Today we'll be talking about rather a very sad topic. Now, if you do not believe in the existence of racism, you believe in justice, in this world of the life, then you have to watch this video. On March the 23rd, 1944, two white young girls by the name of the 11-year-old Betty June Benica, the 7-year-old Mary Emma Thomas, were found dead in the company Meltan, Alcalu, South Carolina, after they had failed to return home the night before. The police then arrested two young fellas. They arrested George Stenny, the 14-year-old, as a suspect, along with his brother, the older brother Johnny. Johnny was released earlier, but little George was held. The two police officers, they claimed that George Stenny, the little boy, actually confessed to committing the crime. There was a written record of his confession written on some notes presented by the investigation deputy and the disgrace says that the transcript was recorded of the brief trial and he was convicted of first degree murder within the first 10 minutes of the trial that lasted for two hours only the court even refused his appeal and he was sentenced to death to be executed by an electric chair. In that very year, he was executed in 1944. For the past decade, the conviction, the question of his guilt, the validity of his reported and written confession and the judicial process have been extensively criticized. But then again the light chimes and a group of decent lawyers along with some human rights activists on behalf of the Stains family on December the 17th of 2014 his conviction was postmortly vacated 70 years after the execution of that young boy. The judge then ruled that he was not given a fair trial had no effective defense representation, the judgment noted, whilst Tenny could have actually done it, the prosecution and the trial were absolutely, fundamentally, and non-negotiably flawed. Judge Mullen ruled that his confession was likely coarse and thus inadmissible. She also found that the execution of a 14 years old constituted as cruel and an unusual punishment. You see, what happened is that his parents were not even allowed to see him. He stayed all alone for 80 days. 80 days. No parents, no friends, nobody. He's at the cell by himself. A 14-year-old done nothing but playing with his sister, Amy, in front of his Porsche house. His sister, Amy, was with him. At the same time of the conviction, at the same time where the police stated that the murder took place, Stenny claimed that the officers had bribed him, were starving him, and then bribed him with food to confess that he committed the murder. You see, Stenny and his sister Amy were playing in front of their house. When the two girls rode their bicycle, they asked them, but where can they find a Mary Pox? Which is a local name for the passion flowers. But of course, Stanley's trial had all white jury, as was typical at the time, as most blacks were in fact still disenfranchised and prohibited from voting, so that they can never be selected as jurors. More than a thousand white person crowded in the courtroom that very day to witness the trial that took place for two hours of the little young George. You see, back in the day, in his town, in South Carolina, I call, you have this bar in here, this bar, 
is the, the black spot. Now this part is the white spot. Now a black cannot go there and a white cannot go there. But a white can actually go there and walk freely. A black cannot go there and walk freely or elsewhere. It's a robbery, it's a murder case or whatsoever. Yeah. Here is the description of the, the boy while the execution. See his face and the, 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 the fact, just read what's happening here. It's, it's, it's excruciating. It's, it's, I cannot even read it for you. I read it once and I just put it for you to read it. This video is rather sad, however, it puts you in two, two proper mindsets. The first is that you can never get justice. And racism is a big part of life. And state is that it restores your faith in humanity. That there is still somebody who is trying to prove that there is that boy, that innocent boy, had no justice at all or whatsoever. The little boy had more than had half a dozen of brothers and sisters, like siblings. And not only that, but they were forced to evacuate the city, the full place, because they will be lynched. That is what actually happened in 1944. All I wish from you is to read more about the case of George Taney in the comment down below what you think about the case. And if you know anything in regards to the, ma the matter even more, please elaborate in the comment. And if you have any advice, please reply in the comments as well. Share with your friends. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you all.